Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you had an incredible weekend and Mother's Day for those of you who celebrated. And, uh, you know, I think, if I am not mistaken, the biggest day for flowers, buying flowers, and the, the florists who make the most is on Mother's Day because everyone has someone to give as a mom and I even had a shirt it said mom dog or dog mom I'm sorry I'm dyslexic right dog mom so welcome to heel talk Tuesdays this is the show for inspiration information and you never know what you get to be intriguing for you today we're going to be talking about emotions and feelings So what uh, better way of doing this, right? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. And every week I come live on Heal Talk Tuesday. It's been over four and a half years that we do this. And it's amazing. Have not missed a week. And uh, you know what? There's always... A message that I received, thank you, that I watch your show, that I got something out of it. I just got an email just last week. It says, you may not know this, but I watch all your episodes and it's so good. Well, please, if you watch it, share it. Let me know. Subscribe. Yes, we are on YouTube. It's called Lisa Bubari, and you can always find Heal Talk with Lisa and Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good. You know, here's the thing. So many of my clients come here, and there is this sense of wanting to be perfect, to be perfect in everything. So perfectionism is not cut out to be the best thing that there is we're going to be talking about emotions and feelings so is being perfect a feeling or is there something an emotional thing that we are hiding to be perfect right so allow me to share some statistics while emotions are associated with the bodily reaction and they are activated through neurotransmitters and hormones released by by the brain, okay? And it's a feelings, feelings are the conscious experience of the emotional reaction. So what does really, what does that mean? It means that emotions are the core is the main thing it is the engine of a car versus feelings are the body of the car it's the outside it's the look of it so feelings can be flighty feelings come and go we are we're not feeling people we are emotional people and yet we have feelings so when when i work with my clients yes i want to know what they are feeling and yet it's not something that is um it can be true or not because feelings can also be um impacted by outside sources so in a way our emotions are like an like um it the same goes for the emotions which can give us an accurate diagnosis of what we feel it's the gut so emotions is mostly the raw data okay which is the emotions connected physically emotionally when we talk about it 
Um, it is based on the events. So if something traumatic happened in your life, the emotional connection to that moment, to that experience, to that memory uh, is what we work with. So what we do through hypnosis, right? We peel away layers and layers to get to the core emotional impact, the causation. And then if you feel angry, if you feel sad, it's what you feel about the emotions, the experience, the impact, the cause is what we are peeling away. So although you talk about your feelings, it is the core that we want. So let's put it this way. Listening to your bodily emotions informs you of the perception that you have. It helps you to connect to the reality, to the present of what you are feeling. Hmm. So let's say if you are stuck in a mental story, and most people are from time to time, um, they get more truthful assessment of how they feel by identifying their emotions. So, have you been in a time and a place when you say you're such an emotional person? We don't say you're a feeling person an emotional person. That means you are so connected and present with your emotions. Um, when we have a bodily reaction, it's hard for our body uh, to be in your body. And if there has been a traumatic experience in your life, you tend to suppress the emotions. But what happens is it's your feelings that come out and you express anger, you express resentment, you express um, tantrums like a little child. And those are the feelings connected with the emotion. So the E is the feeling, motion is the movement which is very much deep within you. So in a way you can name your mental feeling and even acknowledge, how do I know this to be true? Is it true? If there is a pain lingering in your body, you might say, I have a pain. The pain is a feeling. But what is the pain connected to? Most times, there is this energetic pain. So folks who come here for hypnotherapy, sometimes they have gone to many doctors, um, Western medicine, and they've done all kinds of work and still have not been able to uh, reveal why is this pain lingering or why does this pain move? And then the result, uh, maybe the diagnosis, maybe, well, it's a psychological pain. So what is a psychological pain? We hold on to experiences, perhaps negative, and that negative pain creates a feeling of responding to it as a pain. As always, pain comes to notify you, take care of me, pay attention to me, um, take care of whatever it is, the pain. So that's where, and if it is lingering or if it is moving, then that's where the psychological or mental connection it is. So, as we do the hypnosis and hypnotherapy, we peel away the layers of the feelings so we get to the core emotion and the cause. You've been um, familiar with the emotions that are telling you you can go straight to the source in your body, right? That's exactly how I healed uh, with my ovarian cyst, creating it for me 
And until the time that I was not doing hypnotherapy, that I didn't do hypnotherapy, to tap within my body, have a dialogue, as we call it, with my body, I was creating, my body was creating those cysts. So we can say, we can damn the body, and yet the body is always there to protect us, shield us, and safeguard us. So... You know, are we feeding the positive wolf or the negative emotional connection? So by exercising that, here's some ways that you can develop emotional awareness. First, I want you to connect with your visceral messages in your body. And then you can bring your hands anywhere where pain is. Hmm. I keep touching my stomach because if it is your gut that is giving you messages, if it is your stomach, then it is your core digesting not only of food, of by, if there is a discomfort, what in your life are you not digesting, right? Hello, my dear. So we connect to that, and as you bring your hands to the area of your body, to your heart, to your abdominal, and if it is tight, what if you just imagine letting it go, relaxing the muscles? You can even do it like this and make it real tight and say, okay, this is how I feel, and then open it and say, okay, I can do this. And then make it tight every time there is a cramp and then open your hands by doing this it's like your body gets to also understand what it's supposed to do and it's not only in your mind so and then you can also tap within and say to yourself what am I holding on to ask what your emotions are telling you having a dialogue with yourself and if you are thinking okay this is too funny this is too weird this is okay this is woo woo no take a piece of paper and start writing what's going on inside me what's going on in my body and if my body could speak what would it say just sit with it believe it or not there are messages that come into your mind and you may think Nah, that can't be. And you ignore it. And it will come back. So you can name the feeling. Am I angry? Am I sad? Am I taking this as a joke? But is my pain a joke? No, that's keeps coming up. So if it comes up, like one of my clients kept saying, it's not me, it's it it comes to me well we started naming it oh believe it or not it she had a whole four pages of what it is it had power over her it governed her body it and then the it started having this incredible thing realizing that there is no it it was her so throughout the weeks as we have been doing this tapping within her core emotions of coming to understanding what it is she's named it we've made friends with it you see we have evoked it and now she's embracing it and naming it herself, her body, her feelings, and connecting to her true emotions where all that anxiety and panic was coming from, all her negative thoughts. Why? Because as long as she was here, she was not present. So there is a lot of that we do. And notice if you would feel better by keeping it or shaking it off, releasing it, writing it. We keep talking about 
this powerful practice of becoming one with your emotions and then recognizing the flighty feelings that come and go come and go or you feel the emotions connected to it and is is the feeling positive or negative if it is negative how can you shift it or delete it just for now just for the next five minutes delete it and amazing thing is she said i do this detox 16 hour detox four days a week i said wow what if you could also think of the it the negativity the panic the anxiety every time you feel it you say okay i'm on a detox four days a week every time it comes i can delete it every time it comes it's not the 16 hours okay for the next 16 hours i'm on a detox every time i come i can delete it so that's the amazing power that you have over it over yourself over your thoughts over your feelings over your emotions and your body so every thought every idea every concept every emotion that you feel you can allow it to come and go and you can feed more gratefulness and kindness you can feel feed your soul with more gentleness and detox the feelings the thoughts ideas concepts and images that are not conducive to your well-being so in a way that's the difference of what is emotions what is feelings and as you become aware of it awareness is everything then you have a better handle on it it's like becoming the conductor of your train we've talked about this train many many times right who are the passengers what is the cargo what are the thoughts ideas concepts and the burdens the weight that you are carrying on this journey so recognize some of the feelings thoughts burdens weight that you have carried through this journey and which ones their ticket has expired and if the ticket has expired right here the journey ends right here it can end today as a matter of fact you can even say on the count of one two three boom just like that boom I'm done stop delete and when you delete it I want you to know one thing the subconscious the unconscious mind will archive that expunge it and you no longer need to use it right here right now that's all it does not get erased from your memory but it is expunged you no longer need to function with that feeling and the emotions connected to it mm. once you feel better once you feel stronger once you tap within your conscious and go deeper into the subconscious and we evoke it recognize it come to acceptance of embracing that's how you evolve it's a simple it's a simple way of doing it and yet sometimes we can't consciously do so and we do need that's why we all have even I've had therapists I've gone to a hypnotherapist myself I have my own coaches I have my business coach I have this coach I have had that coach you know why because I believe as you 
get to recognize and honor, accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply is realizing you become stronger and more empowered by having more tools and techniques. That's it. That's where heal within truly becomes your own work of art. And when my clients that come over here and feel the response, the, the benefit of it, and they get to learn how to do the self-hypnosis on themselves and recognize it, that when they get into that mode of negativity or fear factor or anxious, they use their own tools and techniques and just go one, two, three, right? or they tap within and they have their own uh, words of affirmation which reminds me if you would like to have daily words of affirmation by all means go to healwithin.com and become one of our subscribers and as you subscribe you also receive a gift which is a relax and unwind audio recording a hypnosis audio recording with my voice and anytime you want, you can play it. And you can just drift into a beautiful state of oneness and relaxation so that you can tap within, right? That's exactly what we do. There is no way we move forward, even the car, this engine, having the engine, having the car and everything, nothing moves unless you, the driver, pushes start. Nowadays, there are so many of the keys that are like, there are so many cars. I'm thinking ahead. Cars that uh, need a key. Nowadays, everything is being push button, right? And in a few years, it's going to be all electronics. So what are the mechanics going to be doing? Working on the old cars because everything is going to be electronics. And moving forward in life can be scary. It can. And yet, we as humans adapt to everything. Eventually, we give in to ourselves and saying okay it's like we're not giving in to another thing is we are giving in to ourselves we are empowering ourselves or we're stepping up to what needs be in order for us to move forward in life and function function healthier stronger more successful and more fulfilled that's what happy is happy is not from the outside it is the joy within so in a way hmm joy is the emotion happy is a feeling bingo I just came up with that so may you tap within the joy of the emotions you feel within yourself so i hope today's message was beneficial to you and hi adrian she says just did that on sunday to keep from being afraid of looking down while on the tram no more fear okay being afraid keep from being afraid of looking down while on the tram no more fear Thank you. You are so welcome. See, looking down from the tram, knowing that you are safe, what is there to be afraid of? You are in the tram. You are in a compartment. You are safe in your seat. You are safe in the train. You are safe on your destination. And that's all we need to know. Everything else which is the fear, is a feeling, what we call false emotions appearing real. So, fear, when it's in a place of 
the fight or flight when there is danger and we are afraid of something if it is something that we need to respond to that's a great moment that means our adrenaline starts pumping our body starts going through all this the emotions that we are feeling is the fear factor but the feelings are i am afraid and if we concentrate on the afraid then we might go into the freeze factor so congratulations by reinforcing that you are safe and that below is just the floor the ground and the train is moving forward okay so with that I hope you and all my audience participants those who subscribe by all means all you have to do is just push subscribe and next week we'll talk about something else again wishing you and everyone a beautiful Tuesday and may this week be a prosperous week and a healthy week better than last week and until next week I wish you a wonderful day God bless you and may the universal light surround you bye bye Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. And if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.